Okay, in this video, I'm going to show the rune collection feature that I've just implemented in the game. And these are the meshes for the 3D runes. So I'll just move around so you can see them. So these are the objects you'll be collecting in the game. So I'll select them so that you can see the mesh. So uh, in the next part of the video, I'll show them implemented in game as well as the UI. And then you can see the player collecting them. Okay, here I show the implementation of the rune collection. And here you can see the runes. There's five that we're going to pick up. And you can see the timer up above in green, which shows you how much time you have to collect them. So here it's 21 hours, 14 seconds and or 14 minutes and 50 whatever seconds. So essentially you have the whole day to collect them. And uh, once you do that, the timer will count down. And then the next day you'll be able to collect another series of runes. And then every time you collect them, you get a prize. So we'll just run the game and play through it and collect our runes, which are the ones that are that I showed earlier in Maya. Hopefully they'll show up quick and I don't have to play too long. Yeah, there's one. So there, I just got one. And again, it notifies you when you've collected it. And if you pause, you can also see your progress with the runes. And again, the countdown timer for how much time you have to collect them. So let's go back in the game and collect the rest of them. All right, I guess I'll shoot these guys while we're at it. Yeah, there's the second one, I think. Yeah, so three more to go. jump pads so we could get some power-ups. I'm not going to get the wings because obviously that'll put us in the air and then the video will take longer and I really just want to show the runes getting all collected. There's another one. So two more to go. There, and now there's one more. Oh, one thing I mentioned for forgot to mention is if you miss collecting the rune it'll keep repeating until you collect it so you're given multiple chances to collect them it's not like a one time only deal so for instance if i fail to collect that one we just keep playing the game and after a random amount it'll show up again yeah there you see it again so this time we're going to grab it. And now we've collected all of them. So it tells you that your quest is complete. And there you can see. So you won't get to collect them again until the timer counts down. So next day you'll get another quest. 
and another chance to get some prizes. So if I end the game like that. Oh, I got a high score. Cool. So here's the, uh, you'll get the mystery crate for collecting all the runes. So let's see what we get. Oh, six fireballs. I'll take that. So that's pretty much the implementation of the rune collection. And again, it'll show you here that you've collected them and how much time until you can collect a new batch. So next time you'll have a different set of runes to collect. Maybe there'll be four or seven. I think the maximum is eight. But um, that's the implementation of this feature. So I'll do another video when I have the next feature done. Thanks and bye.